So in the last episode, we were able to add data in our contentful uh, CMS. And in this episode, I want us to find a way of getting this data and be able to show it on our UI. So one thing that you need to note is that Contentful already provides us with some methods which we can use to get the data and uh, use it on our next app. So if you come to space right here, uh, space home, then scroll at the very bottom, you will see that we have instructions for each language. When I click on JavaScript, then click on this guide, it will open the documentation of how you can get data from Contentful. And right here, you will see Contentful Content Delivery API is a read-only API for retrieving a content from Contentful. So we have what we call Content Delivery API, which Contentful already provide. And when I scroll at the bottom here, you'll see the first thing that we will need is to install Contentful. And then uh, down here, we will need to connect to a space and we'll do something like this. We will call Contentful. And then there is a method called Create Client. And then we will use the space ID and the access token to connect to our, our contentful CMS. And then after that, uh, there are methods like get entry to get a single entry. And then there is another one like get entries to get multiple entries. So you can go through the documentation, but I'll be taking you through a step-by-step -step guide and show you how we will be able to get the data. So let's start by installing contentful. So right here, I'll come to this one. I'll copy it and then I'll go to VS Code and I'll open the terminal, new terminal, and I'll install Contentful. Also make sure that you are inside your uh, Next.js application when installing this. So I'll paste that and hit enter. Now as this installs, uh, we can go ahead and proceed. So what you need to do is to open index.js and then at the top here, we will import create client, which will help us to like connect to our Contentful uh, CMS. So right here, I'll import, I'll destructure, create client from Contentful. So I think it has already installed. That is why I'm getting a suggestion. So let's confirm that. And yeah, it has already installed. So I'll just close it. And then down here, after this component function, we can come at the very bottom here. Uh, this is where I want us to like fetch the data and we should be exporting a specific function and there are two main functions uh, that we can make use of so there is get uh, server side props and then the other function is there is get static props static props these usually uh, builds the page at request time request uh, time and then with the get static props, this usually builds the page at build time. Now, which one should you use? With get static props, this is uh, very awesome when we have data that doesn't frequently change, like our blog. We don't like uh, change our blog content very frequently. Maybe we do that once a week or twice a month. So this is like the best option when it comes to something like a blog. And it is very good for SEO because uh, at build time, all the pages are generated and the browser, uh, when it makes a request to the server, it gets a complete page and it doesn't have to make any other request. And that makes it very fast and also good for SEO. And then with uh, get server side props, this is good when your data is a bit dynamic, when building a site like Facebook or Twitter, where the data keeps changing uh, because of uh, many users and stuff. And with this one, um, the page is usually generated at request time. And at request time is when you visit that page. When you visit that page, that is the moment when uh, the server will build the page and then uh, send back a response. And the response is the page with the data and the HTML. So it only like provide one response. So we had talked about this uh, when we were like introducing Next.js and stuff. And now, uh, this is the point where we can like go into the practical bit of it so in this case i'll be exporting a function called get a uh, static props okay so now right here i can go ahead and export a const it will be an async uh, function actually i won't say const i'll say export async and then function and this function will be get uh, 
static plops. As you can see, they are actually being recommended, two of them. So I'll go with static plops and I'll invoke it. And now in here, we can fetch the data. So before we fetch the data, we need to connect to our contentful CMS. And this is how we can do it. So right here, I'll say const client uh, will be equal to create a client. So this is what we actually imported right here. So create client. I'll go ahead and invoke it, pass an object, and we should be having two things in here. We should be having the space, and then we should be having access token. And we can get this from Contentful, okay? So let's go ahead and get them from Contentful. So I'll come to uh, my Contentful. You can go to settings, and then go to API keys. You need to click on the space that you are currently using because you can actually have multiple spaces so i'll go with this one and then down here this is the space id so i'll copy that and then i'll come right here and i can include it here as a string and this should be actually be a comma just like that i'll also remove this one and i'll come here and here is our access token for the content delivery api so I'll copy that, come here and include it in a string like that. And now we can be able to make use of this client to fetch the data. But before we do that, it's usually a good practice to include API keys like these in environment variable. So let's actually do that, okay? It's a good practice. So I'll minimize everything. And then at the root here, I'll create a new file. And in Next.js, it is already like uh, pre-configures environment variables for us and this is the file that we are supposed to create i'll say dot e and v and then dot uh, recall like that okay and then in here i can include the space id like that and i'll copy this one actually i'll cut it now i'll cut it and then i'll include it here and then let's have access token right here access underscore token and then i'll come right here i'll highlight that cut it and i'll include it here so i'll save that and in our index.js now i can read the keys from the environment variable so right here i'll say process dot env dot uh, space underscore id and then for access token, I'll go ahead and say uh, process dot env, and then I'll say dot access underscore token. Now let's use this client to get our data. So right here, I'll uh, await the response. So I'll say await client dot. And now we have this method, which is already like provided by Contentful, get entries. So I invoke it and we should provide the content type. So when we come to our Contentful and go to content, so right here you will see that we have content type and we actually created this and called it blog. So we need to include it because you can be having multiple content types, okay? So I'll go ahead and right here specify the content type content uh, underscore type and i'll use a full colon and i'll say blog in small caps so if your name had uh, like uh, two words for example let's say i called it chao blog now the content type here will be chao and then blog okay so all you can actually like check here so i'll go ahead and remove this and now uh, this will uh, return our uh, a response, which will be having our data. So I can store that response in a constant. So I'll say const res is equals await client.get entries and then this one. Now, in case if you wondered, if you are using like uh, a different way of fetching the data, you can still do it. Like if you're using Axios, you can come right here and say await axios.get and then you specify the API endpoint 
and then you'll get your response so it, it is not a big difference okay so what you should note is that you should be using like a, a function like this get static props or you can use get uh, server side props and if you want to still use current rendering where you make use of a use effect and fetch the data you can still do that but the point of using next.js is to make use of these uh, methods which it provides so i'll go ahead and uh, cancel this one now this uh, get static props should return an object and this object is the props object and now we can like uh, do that it expects us to return it so down here you can return like that and it expects us to return a props object and now this props object will be having our response so we can actually say that uh, posts be our response okay and when we do that now these posts will be available in our props so we can come right here and we can receive our props and we can be able to log uh, it to the console and see what we have so i'll say props dot uh, posts actually i should call console dot log uh, props dot post maybe i can include a string posts full colon okay comma and i'll save that okay so for some reason um these environment variables are not being read from our env dot local file right here so for now uh, i'll take back uh, the credentials right here to uh, how we had them and once i resolve the issue i'll let you know so let's take them back right here just uh, the way they were and we can uh, resolve the dot env file uh, later on but if yours is working uh, well and good so i uh, return them like that and let's see if we can actually like get the data so i'll save that and then go back to the browser let me refresh and now we are able to get our data and when i expand this you'll see that we have uh, several stuff but when you expand items right here you'll get an array of our data let's uh, expand this one and you'll see one of it is next.js tutorial part 2 and the other one is next.js tutorial so we are actually being able to get our data and the array of our data is available in uh, the items right here so for us to get that array we can just come down here and instead of uh, just saying res we can say res.items and now what we will get in our uh, posts right here from props is that array of data so i'll come back and once we refresh here uh, we should only see an array of our data and there we go we have an array of our data now this is very cool because uh, we can now be able to map through the data and show it on the ui so right here what i'll do i'll destructure posts uh, posts and then in the next episode we will go ahead and map through the data and show it on the ui so i'll see you on the next one